Hi everyone and welcome back. We're heading into Why Are You Behind the Scenes episode 6. This will be from the looks of it episode 11 and 12. So where they have the breakup and where the dad talks to Tutor. Uh, the, the actor who plays the dad seems to be a very friendly comedic guy. Everyone seems to be happy and laughing around him. So I'm really interested to see how he interacts behind the set because he's obviously very professional and has been doing this for a while and understands what goes into these types of shows but he does such a good job of the father role that it'd be interesting to see him just outside of the show. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share and if you want full reactions to this and other things that I have on my Patreon I will leave a link in the description box below. Hello, they're super close now. I thought they were going to kiss just then. Oh, uh, when they get caught. So we've got one stationary camera and one camera that they're moving from side to side to catch any angles they film might work better. And also to get Tutor's reaction. Yeah. Look at his shirt. No, oh, and then look. They're panning down and zooming in. Um, that was a good scene. <laughs> and there you go. He's literally just waiting out of the camera line. They were standing together. Oh, I am curious to know if they also mic'd up the actors. Usually when you do scenes, they also put a mic on you. So that if the boom doesn't pick it up, the mic will. I'm just calculating this from a director standpoint. It's hard to see because I can't see what it looks like on camera. An issue I have with whoever did behind the scenes, I think, it's just sometimes you cannot hear the actors. I'm struggling and I've got the laptop up quite high. Okay, she's starting to get into character. You can see she's doing movements now of Kwa. Still can't believe she's 30 years old. I feel like this might have, I don't know, it might have been late, it might have only been 8 o'clock at night, but it's a long day they've been filming. Yeah, I see the, the dad is featured heavily, obviously it's him mainly now. He does the looking away and down part really well. Yeah, this is a very important scene. This is kind of the moment where you realise, well you knew already, but it's the moment where the dad lets his true colours shine through. And then it's steeped in, obviously, patriarchy, homophobia, but also tradition and fear. There's, the dad is very multi-layered. So that's how it looks on camera. He 
he takes really well to a camera to moving images some people take really good still images and then it good in motion he's actually looks really nice in motion his features are perfect to film yeah he's he's making him nervous on purpose <laughs> And there's his son. This was a very important scene. I, I felt this was the scene that really highlights the struggle that people go through if they're not heterosexual. And I, I imagine how different it is in certain countries is as as liberal as a country can be not always and now we're back to these two and as you saw there's someone sitting right at the edge of the bed there and you wouldn't have known that <laughs> I think he was just looking at this camera that we're focusing on but then that's okay because it's not part of the final editing <laughs> and for someone who's supposed to be ill his character got better a lot quicker than he should have. <laughs> oh, this moment was really sweet. Also, oh, this was a good uh, cementing of their relationship. They kind of come to terms pretty quickly with their attraction to one another. They didn't let the momentum stop what was uh, going on in the scene, but as soon as he said cut, out of character. I always wonder how Saint felt considering um, everyone else had a kind of close relationship prior to the show and he is more of the outsider. Um, I definitely like the angle on the camera to the right. Is he going to cry? It's straight out of character. I definitely think uh, Fighter didn't do, or they didn't show the best of his ability to cry. I think Saint, I felt it much more with Saint. Too sure. It's so good. Like the emotions you felt, the character just pour out of himself and finally let go and why he has such a wall built up. Look, you can see even the actors trying to it's emotionally draining, it's hard. So good. I really do hope people realise just how good of an actor he is. I feel like you see his lips a good few minutes before you see him. Honestly, I'm 
I never got invested in the characters apart from the character of Japan here, which is a shame, but... This was another good scene uh, of why their relationship works so well and how much they needed each other. <laughs> He's just smiling away. Did he help? What I like is, which people don't realise is, they only get the script that's for the day. So as you can see it's about this thick, when probably the actual script is something like that overall. Yeah. I need to see this motion of the slap and all of that and when he holds him. <sighs> he is so happy right now. I just the boom mic just right there. <laughs> I know it takes away a bit of the magic, but obviously when you watch the show, you forget all about these little distractions that you can see when you're doing behind the scenes. I imagine he's giving me great advice right now. That was better. The hit though, yeah, the, that hitting part on the face was really, really good. That was Why Are You Behind the Scenes or Behind Why Are You episode 6. This, I could feel the, not the lack of energy, but how much energy had been drained by the actors through these scenes because these are the very 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 intense scenes before the end and i could tell the actor who plays fighter z uh as a new actor it's you, you don't realize how tough and draining it is because when you when you act before you're on tv and film and such as that and you just go to stage school or university college or classes it's not the same. You put emotions into it, but you don't realise until you're on set and it's a 16 hour day, which is usually the normal if you're you know, of age. And it's very draining because the scenes we saw were very heavy for Z to do. And you could see at points that Saint was trying to cheer him up and the dad was you know, giving him great advice and telling him try this and try that. And just you go with it. But you could see he was drained because it's hard to tell how many days they spent doing certain things. Sometimes it felt like it was just completely the one day that they did certain scenes of the crying scenes for Saint and the father scene, uh, Z, for the crying scene and the father scene felt like it was all done in one day, which meant he went from very heavy emotion and sadness rejection, fear, desperation to anger and all of that. It's very hard to do and people don't realise how much. Also something I really like is you'll see in a bit more of what goes into the camera work and what kind of cameras they use and the fact that near the end the camera had about three or four different screens on it that you could look and see different actors and different parts of the scene to get a sense of what was working and what wasn't. Uh, I've mentioned this before. I do wish the father hadn't picked up the glass. I think it broke the moment when you're watching it behind the scenes. Maybe not when you're watching the actual scene, but when it's behind the scenes, it breaks away. But also it's just really uh, amusing when you see the boom mic and then you see the cameraman when they're doing the bed scenes for 
uh, Saifar and Son, you can see literally the cameraman sitting on the edge of the bed and it shows you sometimes just how much they have to focus into a close-up or a medium close-up because obviously you can get crew and members in. A lot of the time see them in the background and I'm surprised they're allowed that close to the actors acting but I guess they know what shots they want. That was a really intriguing one. It did you remind you back of how good some of those scenes were? I think they were some of the best scenes. Thank you for watching. That was Why Are You Behind the Scenes episode 6 and I will back with the last Behind the Scenes episode 7 next week.